I don't know whether to say this is shocking or just what I expect from Roman Catholicism, but I think I'll lean it towards the thing of this is what I expect from Roman Catholicism. So you see here, this is the Easter Mass 2012, and the Vatican actually invokes Lucifer at the Mass. Real nice. Let's watch this. Let's make sure the volume's on. Christus filius tuus, qui regressus ab inferis, humano generis. So you go back there, they write, they basically write, Christ is your son. Uh, that's what you call blasphemy right there. Calling Christ the son of Lucifer. I mean, but again, what do you expect from Roman Catholicism, which is the, the kingdom of Satan on earth? Here's the next video, and I think, oh, just, what, just one instance. Well, they do it again in the Easter Vigil 2018, so not, not that far back, but two years back. Let's watch. Flama Seus, Lucifer Matutinus, Inveniat. Ile in quam Lucifer, Quinescit Ocasum, Christus Filius Tus, so again, they say, Christ is your son, Lucifer. Um, again, what does this, this is blasphemy. I, I, considering the fact that, and if you're a Catholic out there, you should be kind of concerned about this, because uh, if you know who Lucifer is, he go, he uh, is brought down to the lake of fire. You know, he, If you read about the judgment, he's cast into the lake of fire at the end time. So um, why are you invoking him? You know, it's ridiculous. But again, they do this. Again, this is... Uh, I think 2013. So this is not this is not just one instance or two instances. This is done almost every single year at the mass. But again, you know the mass is a satanic perversion of commun communion. So what do you expect? Of course, the god of Catholicism, or should I say, the gods plural, because they have three gods, the Trinity. But the real god they serve is Lucifer. That's what it comes down to. Okay, watch this. When they write Christus Filius Tuus, they're saying Bessie Christ is your son. You know? I mean, absolute total blasphemy right there, but I'm going to show you some scripture about what the Bible says about Lucifer, and I'm going to show you that, that Lucifer is not the father of Christ. He is the father of the Antichrist, actually, if you read the Bible, but let's continue. I mean, doesn't the Vatican just look so much like a, a pagan Greek temple? I mean, uh, when I say that Roman Catholicism is, is uh, Greek paganism and Roman paganism repackaged, I mean it. I mean, this looks exactly like a, a pagan Greek temple. Not to mention that this right here is probably going to be the seat of the Antichrist. No doubt about that. But, let's continue. Talking about Mystery Babylon saying, come out of her, my people. Yeah, Roman Catholicism is Mystery Babylon. If you compare Revelation 17, compare it to the Vatican, lines up perfectly. But what does the Bible say about Lucifer? Let me show you. Uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the, which did weaken the nations? Verse 13. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will... Look, I, I like to call this the five... I've heard it said it's called the five prides of Lucifer. I, 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 I like that term. But notice how he's saying I, you know, the five prides. 
I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation and the sides of the north. I will ascend to the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. But look at their responses. I like their response. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. You know, that's what's going to happen. So to all you Catholics out there who are invoking Lucifer at the, at the mass, um, he's going to be brought down to the sides of the pit. He's going he's to be brought down to the lake of fire. You know, so uh, you might, you might want to reconsider if you're a Catholic out there, because you're always told that Lucifer is bad. Well, why is your church invoking Lucifer then? If, if Christ truly founded Roman Catholicism, why are they invoking Lucifer and saying Christ is the son of Lucifer, which is ridiculous. Absolute total blasphemy right there. But, you know, I'm going to keep exposing Roman Catholicism for the uh, satanic cult that it is and showing it to be that it is nothing more than a pagan perversion of biblical Christianity. I mean, again, calling Christ the son of Lucifer, I mean, ridiculous. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. God bless you. Goodbye.